Hello, this is Nurseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take a growing vertex map and inverting it the correct way. Let's begin by building a very simple growing vertex map. So just make sure that you have enough polygons here. And uh, I'm going to right click, go to the other tags and select a vertex map. And here it is. Now select it. Because this is a mesh object, we have to go and switch to fields. So let me bring this up so we can see where everything is. Go click on this fields button and uh, remove this thing here over here. Now we need some sort of seed. I'm going to go here and create a spherical field. I'm going to make sure it's somewhere here in the front. So let me get my move tool. Let me activate my snapping. And I'm going to just move here until it snaps to the mesh. Now you can see there's no snapping happening, although it should. And the reason is because when I created the spherical field, it automatically becomes a child of uh, the object that contains the field. So this causes some sort of issue because both objects are selected. Just make sure that the spherical field is the only one that's selected. And I usually remove it from being a child. Okay, now if I just go here, you'll see that now the snapping works. It's fine. I'm going to snap it over there. And I'm going to make this smaller. I can go here to this vertical field. And let's assume that I'm happy with this initial seeding point. That's where the growth is going to start. Now let's go back to the vertex map. And we're going to go and add a freeze layer, which is uh, going to allow us to grow this uh, initial seed. So go to the mode, set it to grow and make sure that the radius is at least as large as uh, the distance between two polygons, uh, because uh, the vertex map needs to jump from one to the other to transfer the data. Anyway, that's what that property radius means. Now, for good measure, go and set this to max, and let's play the animation to see if this is going to grow, and it does grow. Now, just for fancy reasons, I'm going to go unfold my freeze layer and add a random field here, add it as a child of the radius. And this is going to change the radius, which is this radius here. And it will allow us to create a more interesting growing effect. Just make sure that your noise has a bit of animation so that all the gaps are going to close. And there you go. That's it. We have a nice little growing vertex map. Now, the question is, what do I need to do to invert this? And uh, some of you may say, well, it's simple. You go here and you use an invert layer. And that will work. Well, let's see. Rewind, press play. And no, uh, you get a seizure. For reasons which are a bit too technical to fit in a quick tip, I'm not going to say why this is happening. So just delete this. And here's what you need to do to invert it. Go right click and create a new vertex map. You can call it anything you want. You can go and select it and call it inverted. Turn on the fields, remove the freeze layer and uh, put it after the original one. Then you just drag the initial one over here and you put an invert on top of it. And this one is the one that's now inverted and it will work great. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.